You know, deep diving crankbait fishing is something that I've I've done for a long time. I really, really enjoy it, and there's a lot of a lot to it. You know, it's not just throwing out and, and reeling that bait back in. Uh, a lot of it has to do with finding the cover and then hitting that cover with your crankbait. I've got the Spro Little John DD, and when I'm fishing this deep diving crankbait, you know, I like to stop it and hesitate it once I hit that cover. And the one unique aspect about this Little John DD is that when I stop the bait and feed it a little bit of slack, like if I'm reeling along just like this right here, and I stop and then put point my rod to the bait, and then it'll do a 180, and uh, man, that triggers a bunch of strikes, especially right after you dig it on the bottom or you hit a piece of brush or you hit a stick. That, that bait spins around, you can make it spin around, get a lot of strikes like that, so there it is right there. You really need to get the uh, bait into the cover, like I just tipped that tree, just hit that tree, and, uh, and then I felt that one hit it. So uh, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You gotta hit the cover and uh, not be afraid to, uh, to get hung up a few times because that's just what happens. But sometimes this happens. So when you're hitting cover with that crankbait, I think it's a, a, it's a speed game is what I call it. Because the faster you reel that crankbait, the more fish you're gonna catch. But the faster you reel it, the more times you're gonna get hung up when you hit that cover. So it's a speed game. It's like, how fast can I reel it and not get hung up? You gotta keep it, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. And when you hit that cover, you wanna hesitate that bait and just let them take a look at it just briefly uh, because this, this Spur Little John DD has a slow flow, which is what I wanted. Uh, and that, you know, it's hard to find that in a deep diving crankbait. So when that bait has that slow float after it hits the cover, it triggers a lot of strikes, but then go right back to the speed game. And you wanna make sure you have the right equipment when you come out deep diving crankbait fishing. Uh, you know, you hear people talking about having a crankbait rod. Now, a deep diving crankbait rod is, is a long, I like at least a seven and a half to, to eight foot rod. This is a seven foot 10 inch. It's designed specifically for deep diving crankbaits. I mean, this bait weighs almost an ounce. So you're making a super long cast, but you, you wanna have a little backbone to it, but you also wanna have that soft tip like that right there. You can see it's got, a, it's got kind of a soft tip uh, that allows the fish when they eat the bait to be able to, to inhale it because they don't, they don't come up to it and mouth it. They actually inhale, try to inhale that crankbait from a distance and that little soft tip allows that, that bait, the, the rod to load up. Uh, once, you, once you get them on, you know, the length of the rod helps you fight the fish and I always like to have a 6-3 to 1 gear ratio reel. Uh, as I told you before, I like to have play that speed game hard to play the speed game if you got a slow reel. So I like a little bit faster reel than, than some guys. If I'm gonna you know, slow it down, I can slow it down as slow as I want to, uh, but, but when I'm going to speed it up, I can definitely play that speed game and get it fast.